it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 15th. Um, but before I do, I did want to just uh, let y'all know that I have created channel memberships. You may have already seen the video, you may have not. I've created this because I've gotten a lot of requests to do the live shows, you know, that we used to do where... You know, things get a little rowdy and a lot of things are said and we talk about my personal life and we talk about spirituality and we talk about everything. And it's kind of like a rant or whatever you want to call it. It's it's about whatever comes up and it, they're pretty fun, right? So anyway, um, so I was like, hmm, I'd like to have it in a more kind of like a more controlled uh, atmosphere. So I figured, you know, I was going to do it on Patreon, but then I, I was like, then I... I was offered the option from YouTube, so I was like, oh, it's pretty much like Patreon, but then I don't have to ask my my tribe to go to Patreon, you know, that we can do it right through through YouTube. So I decided to do it through YouTube. So for it's like a nominal fee. It's four ninety nine a month for live for live uh the live show. It's called Let's Talk and it would be at least sixty minutes and to start out I would do it bi weekly. I'm thinking Wednesday nights, but that's subject to, subject to change. It's going to start on the 22nd. And so anyway, it will be a live talk show to talk about <laughs> whatever. If you Once you join, you can go to the community tab and you will find a message that gives you an option to put under there what you want to talk about. It gives me ideas of what to talk about. Um... But if you're not a member, you don't... It's, for, it's a members only, uh comment in the community tab in the and then I have another option as well which is the 299 option which is going to be the intuition readings with my new deck so if you get the 299 option there's going to be intuition readings done every week okay that you will be able to go there and it'll be with my deck and my intuition not any of these decks okay just it's going to be intuition readings and um, if you choose the four ninety nine option, you get the intuition readings and the live streams. Once I have three thousand members, I will do it weekly. Okay, and we will just talk about whatever, and have a couple drinks or whatnot. Um, so anyway, I hope that you guys will uh, go ahead and click that join button, and I look forward to chatting with you on the twenty second. So what do we have? What do we have for around the 15th? What do we have for around the 15th? Six of Cups. Now the Six of Cups is, is remembrance. Remembrance of love. Could be a reconciliation with somebody. Um, this is... It could be running into somebody from your past. There could be... A lot of feelings about the past, a lot of thinking about the past, thinking about your old love, thinking about what love is. The Six of Cups is a card of memories and nostalgia. And love, it really is. It's about love. There could be a reconciliation. And when I say reconciliation, reconciliation doesn't have to be between lovers. Reconciliation could be between two people that have parted ways. Okay, and it could be anybody, or this could just be memories, memories of a past love. Six of Pentacles. Now we have two sixes right off the bat. This is somebody. This is a spiritual wake up call. This is take, uh, headed towards balance, headed towards harmony. This is the Six of Pentacles is about is about give and take. It's generosity. It's like. Take, it's almost like giving to one and not the other with this card in, in particular. We have somebody here that is deciding. It's like they're deciding to give in a different direction. This person doesn't look happy. So I feel like we have somebody here that is deciding to take away from one and give. And they may be giving to somebody else, somebody that they are more familiar with, somebody that they are more connected to. I mean, it, it looks like both. I mean, both is some is like giving. So we have some sort of giving here. 
Somebody is going to be given something. And whatever this is, it's going to help restore balance. It's going to be, help to restore harmony. It's going to bring some sort of... of uh, well, this is some sort of gift, okay? Somebody is receiving a gift. And it's a good one, okay? Somebody is choosing to give something to somebody, okay? So somebody is going to be getting a gift. And we do have somebody that's not going to be happy that it's the other person was chosen, Ooh, the chariot reversed. There could be an, an emotional outburst. There could be an accident even. I have to be honest with you. The chariot reversed is lack of control. There's a, There could be some car issues. There could be some emotions that are all over the place. This is something coming to a dead stop. We do have somebody who's not going to be happy. Somebody's getting caught. They're getting caught lying or deceiving. The Seven of Swords reverse. Something is going to happen that is going to cause a, something to end. It's going to put the brakes on a situation. Somebody's going to get caught. What are they? They're going to get caught. And it feels like they're stealing or they're lying or something like that. They're doing something that they shouldn't be doing. And therefore, we have somebody here that is choosing to take away from this person because they haven't acted with integrity and give to somebody else. So that's what it is. It's like, no, 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 no. This is, this is deception. This is a lie. So somebody's lies are coming out. Okay. They're getting caught and now there's no respect. Oh, painful. Three of Swords. It's a painful separation when you get to Three of Swords, but it's needed. This is heartache, suffering, pain, rejection, loss. No happiness here. This party is over. It's time to clean up this mess. Somebody has been cheated. They have been cheated out of innocence. And this could, this is a card of innocence. They've been cheated out of love or something like that. And this is coming to a stop. This is a painful separation. Somebody's going to be very upset, you can see. They're going to be very upset that somebody is giving to somebody else. And they're giving to somebody else because it's about reciprocation. It's about love. And they're, it's like it's about... Uh, Equal, equal, being treated in an equal manner. But there's, there's somebody who's been in a situation where there's no growth, there's a, there's a lack of happiness, there's nothing to celebrate, there's, there's, it's been a big, huge mess. There may have been uh, too much drinking, there was too much partying, there was too much, um, it was fake, right? It was fake. We do have. something that is coming to an end something is coming to a stop there's going to be somebody is going to have an emotional outburst they have they are because somebody is choosing sixes are about choices they really are they're choosing to go in a different direction that's what's happening here it's because they feel cheated or they feel deceived or they have been lied to they have been cheated whatever it is it's like this is done it's done Maybe they're just remembering what love is and they're remembering that this is not love, okay? This is this is like getting out of a commitment, getting out of a marriage. This party is over. It's time to clean up this mess. It's time to, you know, deal with this painful separation that they've been, you know, avoiding. Somebody has been going down the wrong path, but it's over now. It's definitely going to be an emotional time because something is going to be revealed with that Seven of Swords reversed. It's like all of a sudden you, somebody gets caught. They get caught. See, they do. They get caught trying to get away. They're trying to steal something or they're trying to lie. They're trying to deceive. And this person, they know it. 
There's, it's like this person knows. We could have something to do with children here because the Six of Cups is often about children. It's a painful separation. Somebody is grieving. They are going to be. This is grieving. This is a grievance. Okay, this is painful. It's nothing to celebrate, really. It's not. King of Swords, this is a decision. This is the decider. This is somebody. It's all about the facts. It's not about your feelings. Okay? A decision is being made based on the facts, based on the truth. So there is going to be a decision that is made that is probably going to hurt. It's all about the point. It's somebody is about to make a point, and they're going to make a point that is, is going to cause somebody, you know, a period of sadness, a period of hurt. They're doing it based on the facts. Some sort of truth is coming out. This is the facts. This is the truth. This person knows what they have to do. They've done their investigation. This could be somebody in an investigative role that has looked up the laws. This is somebody that is professional, that is making a decision to put something to a stop. This is putting the brakes on a situation where there's been some lies, okay? And this person isn't getting away with it. Whoever has been lying is not getting away with it. We have somebody that is an authority, an authoritative figure. This could be a judge. This could be a law, law official, official. This is somebody that is able to make decisions, that is very experienced, that is making a logical decision based on the facts. And it's not about feelings. And it is going to cause somebody some heartache. It's going to cause somebody some grief. It definitely is. The truth is, the truth is coming out about a deceptive situation. Somebody has been thinking that they were getting away with it, but they're not. They're not. The magician. Now this is a shift in power. We have a power shift here. This is uh, letting go of the old and bringing in the new. Somebody is taking action. They are. They are taking action. And, and, and because they are taking action, it is going to cause some sort of pain for somebody else. That's, that's a fact, okay? That is a fact. We could be dealing with a Gemini. We could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius. This is somebody who is very factual. We have somebody here that is very much awakened as well. This person sees things clearly and he knows, he or she knows that they have to take action because this is a dead end situation. There's is no way to live. This is, there's no life here. There's no, there's no happiness here. There's no growth here. We definitely have a decision that is being made. And then you got to think about, uh, what goes around comes around. This is this is about somebody's character. Somebody hasn't acted in good character. They have lied. They have deceived. And you get what you deserve. Okay, you reap what you sow. So somebody is about to... It feels like we have somebody here that is about to get something taken away from them. And it's going to be given to somebody else. Somebody is definitely receiving a true gift. And it is a gift of love. It really is a gift of love. It feels like this person that has been lying is probably going to have this emotional outburst. Okay, because they get caught. They do. They get caught. Ace of Cups reversed and the Five of Wands reversed. There's been a competition. We have somebody here that hasn't been acting in a loving manner. They haven't been. They haven't been very kind. They haven't been very nice. There's been a full scale battle, right? There's been fighting. 
but this is all coming to an end. It is. This is, is coming to an end. This competition is coming to an end. This is a this is a this is a unrequited love situation. There's no love here. There's no emotional support. This isn't love. This is all about competition. It's all about power and control. Somebody is is uh, gotten to the point where they don't have anything to get left to give. There's a feeling of uh, despair. Giving up. Somebody is giving up the fight or they're being forced to. There's no love here. This is the end of a competition. It's the end of a battle. There's, it's been a, it's been a battle, and it's been a battle of, of will. It's been a battle of power and control. It has, but now there's about to be a power shift of some sort. A decision is being made to end this competition. It's like whoever is competing, somebody isn't competing because they love. They're not. They're competing for the sake of competition. They're competing for, you know, because of their ego, because of their pride. I feel as though this competition is definitely coming to an end. Okay, it's coming to an end because whoever has been lying, whoever has been thieving, whoever has been uh, getting away with the deception is getting caught. The seven of swords reversed, they're getting caught. The truth is coming out and whoever is, is seeing it is putting it to a stop. It's like the decision is made. It's not being changed. I also feel as though somebody is getting what they deserve. This is as above, so below. And this is you get what you deserve. It's like you get what you deserve. Okay? Somebody has been hiding behind a mask and the mask is coming off. The, the the chariot reverse is disaster ahead. Somebody's getting caught and they're gonna, it's like the, things are about to, it, and I don't need the tower card. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be like a blow up. And this blow up is gonna be seen by somebody in an authoritative position that just is like, you know what? This is done. It's over. I feel as though there's going to be some sort of, uh, you know, that Six of Cups just keeps screaming reconciliation with me, for me, or whatever it is, a reconciliation. It keeps on screaming reconciliation. But I think this is reconciliation isn't with who you think it is, okay? it's I don't think it's with an ex, okay? I don't, I don't, I don't think it's with a lover, okay? That's what I want to say. I don't think it's with a lover. I think it's with somebody else. As above, so below. Something is about to change. And it's a universal change, okay? It's, it, this is meant to happen at this time to stop but somebody in their tracks. It's going to stop somebody from deceiving. It's going to stop somebody from going down that wrong road. It's going to stop this person from lying because it's going to reveal the truth. Something is going to happen that is going to end a conflict. It's going to end a competition. It's like somebody is going to see this is not emotionally fulfilling. It's not emo driven from the heart. It's driven from greed. It's driven from competition. It's driven from power and control.
So there's going to be a mess. Okay, this has been a mess, and it's cleanup time with the Four of Wands reverse. It's cleanup time. There could be the ch a change in a commitment, a change in the home front. Somebody could be leaving home. This could be a breakup, a split, a goodbye. Seriously. The honeymoon is over. The party is over. This game is over. Somebody's about to get exactly what they deserve. <laughs> And it could be good or it could be bad. It all it all it, it all uh depends on your character. Because this is a card of character. It could be good or it could be bad. Somebody is about to get what they deserve. If you have a good character, expect to receive a gift. If you have a bad character, Expect to lose something. That is what I see. Good luck.